So, how did you break up with your last boyfriend or girlfriend? Maybe you changed your Facebook status. I don't know. But if that's what you did, that was a pretty good idea. Winnie the Pooh is based on psychological problems. Pooh has an eating disorder. Piglet suffers from anxiety. Tigger has ADD. Rabbit suffers from OCD. Eeyore battles major depression. Christopher Robin must be a drug addict if his stuffed animals talk to him. No beloved childhood characters were harmed in the making of this ringtone. Well, at least not intentionally. Pooh did try to eat Piglet, and of course this worried Piglet until he died. Tigger couldn't stop shaking Rabbit's hand, and of course that drove Rabbit insane. And Eeyore hung himself because he couldn't deal with the fact that Christopher Robin was a drug addict. The Top, broadcasting live to at least three people on Spreaker.com. Mr. Pop, Dorks of the World, unite. No, okay, listen closely. It's not Woba, it's Waba. This is the Chris Top Program. Broadcasting worldwide to at least three people. And I am the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from my lavish studio apartment here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How the hell are you, world? Really, it's it's good to see everybody. I, you know, I decided to do a broadcast because these 30-minute shows are easy. I mean, it's it, I start prepping and then I'm done, like in five minutes, so I can do a broadcast. So it, it's really easy to do this. But uh, don't get me wrong, because I, I really do want those longer shows back. And in one way or another, I'm going to get them. I mean, if iHeart accepts me, then I'll get five hours. And if they don't accept me, then I'll just go back to my old account and I'll continue to broadcast like I always have. Uh, Now, today we're going to talk about, uh, you know, because I'm always talking about the wishy-washy stuff, about how to get a girlfriend, how what you do to fall in love, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and it, it's kind of boring. So I figured today what we would do is we would talk about the perfect ways to break up. And I mentioned one just as the show started, leaving a post on Facebook. And I think that's just genius. I mean, because right there, right then and there, everybody knows. Everybody knows. And you more than likely, if you're a halfway decent looking guy or girl, you'll have a new, you'll have a new girlfriend by the next day. Because everybody knows you broke it off. And you know, a lot of people right now are saying, Chris, you're such an asshole. You are such an asshole. How could you even say? Well, because it's true. Because, okay, if you pay attention to people on Facebook, they may as well post the breakup on there. They may as well let the other person know when they change their status. Because as soon as they break up, they change it and they, oh, woe is me. I just broke up. Like it's anybody's business. Like you know those things. 356 people on your Facebook. All you're doing is fishing. You're fishing for, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me be your rebound. Let me take you out. I'll show you what a man should be. That's all you're looking for when you post that crap on Facebook. Come on. You might as well do it. You might as well just say, hey, I just broke up. Single, all of a sudden. All right, so we're going to talk about some... We're going to talk about some great ways to break it off. And I think these are really original. And I think you should go ahead and get your notebook out because you may have a pending breakup in the future. I don't know. And and I'm here to help. Or even if you don't, you can go ahead and take notes anyway. And then you can just sort of just stick it somewhere. And then if if that time comes, then you just pull out your notebook. And and then you've got um, Chris Top's suggestions. Uh, And by all means, uh, if the voices in my head would like to leave suggestions as well, then uh, go for it. Now, if I happen to miss it in the chat, because sometimes the chat gets moving a little too fast, and and it's hard for me to keep up. Part of it's because I'm getting old. I can't help it. I I can't help it. Uh, And Johnny's getting old, too. Johnny's in the chat. Johnny Molson. And And a sure sign that you're getting old is when you get these zits on your on your stuff. Uh, and if you want to know what that's about, just make sure you listen to um, to the Johnny Molson Show. Uh, it used to be known as Mobster Boss Radio, so make sure you check that out. 
Uh, and okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say hello to everybody in my chat because you guys are important to me. You're the reason I'm here. If, if you weren't listening to me right now, I'd be talking to myself. That'd make me a little nuts. It really would. So thank you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and say this now because I always run out of time. Uh, doing these 30-minute shows, I lose track of time. I do not, nor will I ever take any of you for granted because there are a million other things you could be doing. And this goes out to everybody that's in the chat, to everybody that's listening on another site, to everybody that comes back and listens tomorrow to the podcast. However you listen, I, whether you download them, I don't know how you do it. I have no idea, but, but I appreciate you and I don't take you for granted. Now, I do want to say hello to Andy Bong, who's in the chat, my good buddy Andy. And Andy, I promise you, I will guest host your show one day. It's just a matter of me finding time. Now, I, I do believe next week I have three days uh, available. <laughs> and I know I sound like a busy guy, and I really am. I, I, I'm ter terribly busy. But I should have three days next week, so I may be able to hook up with you one of those days. Uh, we also have Judge Holly in the chat. Uh, and Holly is actually about to start her new show, and I, I would promote it, but I've actually got a promo for it, and we'll play that just a little bit later, because I don't want to mess it up, and she hasn't aired the show yet. And uh, I've already said hey to Johnny Molson. We talked about his junk. Uh, Johnny, it's always a pleasure to have you in here, buddy. We have the lovely, vivacious Kiss Kiss in the chat. Uh, and also, let's see who else we've got. Uh, I don't want to miss anybody. I'm going to scroll on down. And I promise we'll get started with the show. This is going to be a very informative show. Uh, it really is. It's going to be a very informative show, and you can take notes. And we have Debbie Daly in the chat. And Debbie, um, phew, Debbie, I'm, I'm really hesitant to ever call into your show again. Usually, when I call into shows, it's, it's a five- or ten-minute kind of deal. So just be ready. If you ever call into Debbie Daly's show... Be prepared to be on there until the roosters crow. Wait, roosters don't crow. Whatever, they, whatever roosters do in the morning when it's time to wake up, that's what they did. Uh, and I was on, I, I think, for four hours. And, and really, I'm not that interesting. And I think what it is, uh, there's a lot of stuff in me that's pent up, Debbie, uh, because I've been doing these 30-minute broadcasts. So you got me on a day that I really wanted to talk. Uh, but I do have to say this. As soon as we were done, I went to bed. And I slept like a little girl. I did. I really did. And uh, yeah, De Debbie, make sure you follow the new accounts. Because that's where the action's happening. Uh, okay, so have I mentioned everybody that's in the chat? Because like I said, I don't want to miss anybody. Uh, let's see. I'm just scrolling down. I want to make sure I got everybody that's in the chat so far. And if you come in late, just scream or yell or something. And please, by all means, go to my Facebook page and post some ways that you use to break up with, uh, with your significant other. And I, I've got some good ways for you. And if I don't watch it, I'm going to run out of time. So I've really got to get moving. One of these I thought was genius. Okay, so, so say your, your girlfriend. I'm going to say girlfriend because I'm a dude. And I'm just going to say girlfriend. But this can go either way. Um... Sort of like Johnny Molson goes either way. But, okay, so say you're in, uh, and in in, you live in this neighborhood with this girl, and, you, and you've been dating her for a while. You know the exact route she takes to work. And that would have sounded creepy had you not been dating her. But you've been dating her, so you know, how, you know the way she goes to work. This is genius. Okay, so you go to one of those sign shops. Say her name's Emily. I don't know. So you have them make a sign that says, Emily... This is John. I'm breaking up with you. Or you could say, you could be more creative. Uh, Emily, this is John. I hate you. Or Emily, if I'm with you another day, I'm going to jump off of this bridge. So we're breaking up. And then you, take, you, you have this banner made. And see, this is something she'll never forget. And she can actually take the banner home and keep it. See, I, this is genius. She'll have like a keepsake from the breakup. So you take the banner uh, the, the night before. Say she goes to work at, I don't know, 8 in the morning or something. So you go to the bridge, the overpass, <laughs> the, the, the way she goes to work. And hopefully there's no detour that day because you don't want to put this off any longer. And if, if you do, then other people are going to see it before her and they may notify her. So you want to make sure everything's cool that day. There's no road work going on or anything like that. And then you just, you just hang it on the bridge. 
Emily, one more day with you. I'm jumping off of this bridge, so we're breaking up. So she she's driving along. She's <laughs> she's drinking her coffee. She's eating her. Um, okay, we're gonna say donut uh, because well, okay, we're gonna say donut. She's drinking her coffee and eating her donut, and she looks up and she sees the sign on her way to work. It's gonna be the best day ever, I think, for Emily. Don't you? She. <laughs> You know, uh, probably she'll be in denial, I would think, at first. Okay, okay. My John would not have done this. <laughs> There's got to be another John that lives, that lives in this town who's dating an Emily. Because there's, John is a really common name. Emily's a, <laughs> oh, my God, he just broke up with me. He hung a sign off the bridge. <laughs> I mean, can you visualize it? I think it's a, that's a day she'll never forget. Don't do it on Valentine's Day. <laughs> don't don't do it on a holiday. Do it if you're going to do it on a holiday. Do it on a bad holiday. Why are there bad holidays? Why don't pick a day that's not important? Uh, try that. Now, <laughs> I should have saved that one. I think maybe I should have saved that one for number one because that's one of my favorites. I think uh, Johnny says he avoids the penis. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> and uh, Andy Bong says I did a newspaper story on the worst um, on the worst pickup lines ever. You know, you could do that, Andy. You just gave me an idea. You could actually take out an ad in the newspaper. Uh, you could like you could put it somewhere close to the obituaries or something. You'd be like, okay, okay, Emily, this is John. Uh, I took out this newspaper ad because I'm leaving town, and I wanted you to be the well, one of the first thousand to know, or ten thousand to know, uh, that I'm leaving because I know you read the paper every morning when you're getting ready for work, and I just I want you to know that I'm leaving you. I'm not dead. I didn't disappear. I wasn't abducted by aliens, even though we do live in a trailer park. I was not abducted by aliens. I'm just leaving this newspaper um, ad for you, Emily, and and more than likely, if I I'm going to put on the article. No, this is a long article, isn't it? Uh, nobody else read this but Emily. And that way we'll be for sure that this is private, but just because I couldn't do this in person. So, Andy, you gave me a great idea. That that could be a good way to break up, I think, with somebody. You know? Okay, so Debbie says, or you could call the local AM County station and dedicate, how can I miss you if you won't go away? <laughs> that's, a, that's good, too. But you've got to make sure she's listening uh, to, the, to the actual radio station. So uh, you just have to make... Okay, so what you would have to do is you would have to text her or call her first and say, oh, you've got to listen. You've got to listen to WKDZ because they are... <laughs> They've got the best morning show. They're, they're going to talk about us. It's, I know our anniversary is coming up next week. So I called the station and I told them to mention our... So she's going to tune in thinking that they're going to talk about her anniversary. But instead, uh, hey, Emily, this is... Uh, this is <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me try that. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, this is Chris, Chris Todd broadcasting live from WKDZ. I just want to let Emily know that no one loves you anymore. John is breaking up with you today. See, it could be something like that. And then they could play, how can I miss you if you won't go away? See, that would work out really, really well, I think. Uh, let's see. What's going on? What's going on in the chat? Uh, only a moron would not break up with someone face-to-face. -face. So a text message wouldn't be okay? So that wouldn't, that wouldn't be okay? Uh, Debbie says, dear you, you might notice all the furniture is gone. You also might notice that the dog is gone. And in case you didn't notice, I'm gone. And you're single. See, that's beautiful. That's really, that's really, as long as the check-in account's still there, I think I'd be okay. Uh, as long as, as long as that's still intact. Okay, so how about this? Uh, okay, so say you want to do it face-to-face. -face. Say we're going to take Holly's advice. So John goes to Emily and says, Emily, you, hang on, I've got to fight back the tears, Emily. You have been a great rebound. You really have. But but it's over now and it's it's time for me to move on. I've got to find somebody I'm going to permanently be with. See, that's just not what you say. Or is or or at least that's honest, right? Or you could 
you could get your best friend to break it off for you. I could be like, all right, okay, Scott. All right, go on over. She, she's at my place. Make sure she gets her toothbrush. Make sure you get her keys. All right, go, just go bang on the front door. Just knock on the front door. Just burst in and say, all right, it's time for you to get out. You know, you could try that. You could get your best friends to do the dirty work for you. And at least that way, it's still face-to-face. And it's better than a text, I would think. Right? Uh, you could also do this. You could, you could go up to, okay, here's John and Emily. Okay, Emily, listen, I really, really do like you. I mean, I really like you. Now, you're beautiful. You're, you're one of the nicest people I have ever been around in my whole life. When, when I'm with you, I, I, get the, I get those warm and fuzzy feelings inside. I really do. But, okay, and here's the but. But it's just my, my, my other girlfriend doesn't like me dating other people. So you could drop that bomb on her, right? You could. And then you could always break up with them on Valentine's Day, Christmas, or their birthday. That way they remember. Uh, because you know how a lot of times you break it off with somebody, and then several weeks down the road, you know, people start to remember the good stuff. They, they just remember all the good things. They don't, they don't remember how you left the toilet seat up. They don't remember how you used to leave the cap off the toothpaste. They don't remember how you used to clean the checking account out every week. You know, when you went to buy something you wanted, the money was gone. They forget that stuff sometimes. So if you break up on a holiday, then it's a good reminder. It's like, oh, here's Christmas. I hate Christmas. I really, that's when, that's when Emily broke it off with me. She broke it off with me on Christmas. I hate Christmas. I hate Emily. I hate everything about Christmas, and I hate everything about Emily. So you could try it on a holiday. That could work. Now you could try this. You could try this. Um, You could leave it on a voicemail. All right, so think about that. It makes it easy, right? So it's kind of like Facebook, but not as many people at once. Well, I I guess it depends on how popular you are and how many people call you. Uh, But you could just leave just a, a really quick message. Uh, just something like, um, Hey, you've reached John. If this is Emily, we're breaking up. Thanks a lot. Leave your message and I'll call you back. You could try something like that. And then eventually Emily's going to call you. She's going to get the voicemail and she'll get the picture. And so will a few of your friends. So then they can call you and say, dude, I heard about the breakup, man. I'm so sorry. You know, so you, so that works as well. Uh, you can always write it in a blog on the internet. Uh, you could try this one, and you could actually work up to this one. You could try this. You could say, what was I going to say? I started reading the chat, and I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, Debbie says, I hate when they uh, try the I'll piss her off routine. Uh, Holly says, uh, sometimes I actually cry about it. And I guess, uh, and she, then she says, F him. He's effing Hollywood, trying to be famous. So I guess she's talking about her last breakup. So maybe this was not a good show for Holly to listen to. I don't know. All right, so so this is what you can do. One day, you can just, when, when your significant other comes around, when Emily comes around, you can just do this. You can start, you can start sneezing. Or maybe you can uh, uh, play with an onion before she comes in. But no, then she'll smell the onion. So that might not work. Maybe you could just rub a little onion juice in your eyes and then, and then wash your face. Or put a bunch of cologne on. And then when she comes in, your eyes are all watery. You're sneezing and stuff. You're blowing crap out of your nose. Stuff like that. And she's like, what's wrong? And you're like, <coughs> nothing, baby. I love you. No matter what. I would, I'm going to stay with you till the, end of, uh, <coughs> till the end of time. So you do this for a few days. And then... Everybody knows a doctor or, or someplace they can get a fake doctor's note. Well, you, you can get an actual doctor's note that says, um, John is allergic to Emily. And you can be like, well, Emily, look. And then, you know, today's the only day you're not sneezing. Well, Emily, look. You know, I think it's time for us to move on. Not because I want to. Because, listen. And then you hold her hand. Listen. I really, really do care about you very, very deeply. But you remember, I, I used to have a cat, and I got rid of my cat, and I love that cat, too. Well, I'm allergic to you, and, and 
Benadryl doesn't help. So, Emily, we're, we're going to have to break it off. So you could actually try that approach. And you could try this. And, and I don't know how far. I don't know how far you'd want to go with this one. But you could go pretty far. I mean, I'm sure that you would have a, a, a friend that might help you out. Uh, but you could say, well, well, it couldn't be a friend that she knew as well. So maybe you could just say, hey, Emily, you know, I, 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 we've been together for a while. And something just didn't feel right inside. Something just, I don't know. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. So one morning I woke up, and you were in bed with me, actually. And I was looking over at you, and I just, I just wasn't feeling it. But wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It's, it's not you, Emily, I promise. It's not you. Because you see, I, I woke up this morning and I realized I'm gay. So you could try that, uh, and you could just tell her that, and she may or may not believe you. So what you could do is just have one of your friends come over, and, the, and she could catch you in bed. Now, and see, and, and if that happens, I mean, if you, if you decide to go that far with it, then you may not even really be lying because, I mean, if you've pretended to be gay, then, well, you, you know, you could be gay. So I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there for you. Uh, that could be a possibility. Now, probably one of the worst times to break up with somebody is going to be on vacation. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't spend all of this money to go to Vegas so, so you fly into Vegas, you start hitting the, slots, the slot machines, you're watching the Blue Man Group, right in the middle of the Blue Man Group, before they start, or toward the end when they start bringing all the paper out, you know, like the, the toilet paper. If you've seen, you know what I'm talking about if you've seen the Blue Man. So they start bringing all the paper out, and, and then you're just like, hey, Emily, psst, hey, th- I know this is, this is like the best part of the show, but I just want you to know uh, that I'm breaking up with you right now. You've just ruined your trip. D- d- if you plan a trip together, go ahead and just go on the trip. You can break up as soon as you... You can break up, break up on the plane ride back if you want to. But just don't do it in the middle of the trip. You, you don't want to do... You want to stay away from that. So the text message is always good. Facebook, that's always, always a great way to do it. Uh, also, you can do it when the family's around. I mean, you, see, the, one of the best things to do is just is make it a family affair. I mean, I'm sure you won't regret it. You can even do it like maybe at a sibling's wedding or maybe a family vacation because, well, then you're more than likely you're not paying for the vacation. So that way you've got, you've got all your brothers and sisters and your mom and everybody's there sticking up for you. And then Emily's not going to feel bad at all. She, she's not going to feel out of place one iota. She really won't. Now, another good place to, <laughs> another good place to break up is going to be that special place. Emily, listen, I, I know this is, this is where we met. I know it's, it's this beautiful park, and there's this, this little brook right here. In the, oh, look, a turtle. There's a turtle over there. We saw the turtle on the first day we came over here. Well, I know, Emily, that you're thinking, you know, why, why, would, why would John bring me back to this place unless there was something really important that he wanted to tell me? So, so you wait... Maybe it's at nighttime, so you wait for the moon to hit that just that right spot in the sky. And, and Emily's standing there. She's looking at you. She's looking deep into your eyes. You've got your, your, your phone up to your face so she can see your eyes, because I know it's dark. So she's looking deep into your eyes. And you look up at her, because you're on one knee. And you look up at her, and you say, Emily. And she says, yes, John. Yes, John, I, I love you. I really love you. And you look at Evelyn and you say, Emily, I've been wanting to say this to you for a long, long time. And then she starts to tear up a little bit. Oh, John. I know we've only been together three weeks, but I'm feeling it too. (laughs) I'm really feeling it too. I really, really am feeling it too. So you look up at her and you say, Emily, I'm leaving you. (laughs) <laughs> so see, wouldn't that be an, a good way to do that? You just go to your special place and you tell her that, uh, that maybe it's time to break it off. I mean, it could be. It could be. Uh, so we've got Ty in the chat. Ty, it's really good to see you. Uh, Ty says if you break up with somebody, you should do it publicly. Uh, I guess that way she can't stick a knife in your throat. 
uh, is what I'm thinking. So, I mean, if you do it publicly, you know, people might get a show. You actually, if you do it in public, like at a mall or something like that, you could get put on YouTube, maybe. Uh, you never know. And it could get a, a million hits. Uh, so that's a good possibility as well. Now, you, my friends, are in the right place. This is the Chris Top Program. And I want to say this real quick. If you have a show here on Spreaker, I want you to do this. I want you to type the word show into the chat because we are going to spread the Spreaker love. That's right. Type the word show into the chat. Make sure you click on this person. Make sure you give them a follow. Listen to their program. If you like it, congratulations. You found something new. If you don't like it, well, that's okay. You can unfollow them. It's not a big deal. Do whatever you want to do. Just go ahead and type the word show into the chat. Make sure you spread the Spreaker love. I'm going to take a quick little break. We'll come back and we'll wrap this up. This has been the Chris Top Program uh, dating special. And I, I, all I'm doing, all in the world I'm doing, is I'm trying to help everybody out. I really am. You could just tell her you have an STD. That's what, that's what I do all the time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not answer this phone. I believe this phone has an STD. Okay, there it is. I said it, but it was totally for your protection. Not that the phone would know anything about protection. That's right, buddy. If you're feeling froggy, go ahead and answer it. You'll be playing with a lot more than a keypad. Trust me. If you answer the phone, it's no different than answering every other phone that phone has come in contact with. Holly Stalin's words cut like a double-edged sword. On the Edge with Holly Stalin, the fastest 30 minutes on Spreaker.com. Mr. Pop. Dorks of the world unite. No, okay, listen closely. It's not Woba, it's Waba. And I am the one and only Chris Top from the Chris Top program, taking that milk money back one nickel at a time. That's right. Be a dork. Be proud. Be hip. Uh, lots of shows in the chat, so you guys make sure you click on each other, give each other a follow, listen at least one time. Uh, a lot of great shows in the chat. I've listened to each and every one of them, and, uh, and all of them, I think, are entertaining. Now, if you would, please tweet with me. Please follow me on Facebook. Follow the Chris Top program here on Spreaker. And really, you know, if you do all that for me, then that's cool enough. I could say stumble with me, tumble with me, and all that other stuff, but I really don't care because I don't check that stuff. Okay, so if you'll, if you'll Facebook with me, follow me on here, I'm good to go. Uh, now, what we were talking about breaking up, and I've got, um, I've got, what, two minutes left to go? Now, is anybody else doing a show after mine? Because if you are, I'll tell you what. The one and only Chris Top will we'll jump into your chat, and I will bring other dorks with me, I promise you that. Just let me know. And Ty says his his show's not for everyone. So so Ty, what is why, why isn't your show for other people? Can I I can't listen to your show? I would love to listen to your show, Ty. I see. I I feel like maybe that was directed toward me. And, and Ty, I thought we were closer than that. Now Ty and Debbie, I have some, I have a challenge for you. I, I realize that um, you you may or may not be dorks. You may or may not be dorks, but when you come in here, this is sort of a safe haven for dorks. This is where you step from the closet and embrace the light of your dorkhood. Now, if you're ready to do that, then you're ready for this. I want you to go to my Facebook page and post the dorkiest picture you have of yourself on the Facebook page. That will put you into the dork hall of fame. And plus, it's cool. Uh, it, it shows the other dorks that you're okay, that you're one of us. Uh, also, I want to say Waba to everybody. And if you don't know what Waba is, Waba means working on being awesome. So how are you doing, Chris Top? Oh, I'm Waba. I'm W-O-B-A. I'm working on being awesome. Will I ever be awesome? Probably not. But I am in constant pursuit of being awesome. Now, we've got time for one more thing, or a couple more. Don't do it in the bed. Or, well, you can do it in the bed. You can go ahead and uh, get one more quickie in. Like, oh, I love you so much. I love you too, John. Emily, you're great. Oh, whew. That, the, hang on, i got to catch my breath. That was probably the best 30 seconds I've spent with you in the last three months. Oh, my God. But i got to say this. I, I'm breaking up with you right now. Probably, uh, probably one of the best times to do it is, or maybe even while you're in the middle of doing that. 
Uh, you know one of the most popular ways for people to break up? It's by cheating and getting caught. Now, see, I don't know if that's on purpose. It's like, okay, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put this in, in there. And then she's going to, Emily's going to walk in the bedroom and she's going to see this in there. And she's going to be like, ah, and I'm going to be like, ah. And see, I don't think they plan that stuff. I think it just kind of happens. And they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I was going to break up with her anyway. I was. Uh, I, I, yeah, I was planning on it. Uh, you can always, um, the wedding invitations that you sent out, you can actually email everybody that you sent the wedding invitations out to and say, hey, hey, I'm breaking up with Emily. Uh, I, I sent her this same email, but I wanted everybody else to know too. I mean, because I'm not buying all that stuff for the wedding. I'm, I'm not. I'm not planning on it. And probably one of my favorite ways to break up is just to say, hey, I'm a superhero now. I, I really, I, I'm Spider-Man. Okay, I can't date you anymore because you'll die. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into the Chris Top program. Until I broadcast.